Hey everyone, I'm Jill and welcome to Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now a while ago we covered how to make animations in Premiere with the use of keyframes. And I kind of received a lot of questions and messages about keyframes, so today I want to go a bit more in depth and tell you how exactly keyframes work. Now let's start with the basics again. So what I have here is a simple text layer, which I'm going to animate. I select the layer in my timeline and head over to the effect controls panel. Here I can place a keyframe for the position property by clicking on the stopwatch icon. I go a bit further in time and adjust the property a bit, which will automatically create a new keyframe. Now this will create a super simple and basic animation, but of course you probably already knew how to do this. So, if we click on the motion property in the effect controls, we will see a blue box appear around our clip in the program monitor. Now this can help you with animating, but that's not so important. What is important, however, is the blue line that we see right here. This is the path of our animation, and as you see, it's a straight line, or a linear line. If we place a new keyframe in between the ones that we've already made, we can adjust the line in the program monitor. So let's take the middle point and drag it somewhere else. If we now play this, you will see that the path of the animation changed. It doesn't go straight from point A to point C, it makes an angle with point B. Now the curve is very harsh, because it's angled. Now let's change that. We'll right click on the middle keyframe and select spatial interpolation. This means the way the keyframes act in between each other. Now we'll make this keyframe a bezier, and this will make it go way smoother, because it will actually become a curve now. So now you have a better understanding about the paths of an animation and the spatial interpolation. Now let's have a look at temporal interpolation. This is the way the keyframe itself should behave. You won't see a curve in the program monitor, but if you click on the drop down arrow icon on the property in the effect controls panel, you can see a curve now. This curve looks really straight. It's a linear curve. And if you want to smoothen this animation, we need to create an ease in and ease out onto those keyframes. Now I've already talked about this in the previous keyframe video, but the first keyframe needs to ease out, because that's where the animation starts. And the last keyframe needs to ease in, because that's where the animation ends and eases back into its end position. When we now have a look in our effect controls panel, you will see that we've got a curve. And when we take the levers, we can play around with the speed of the animation. If we create a curve like this, it will go slow for a while and then speed up drastically in the end. And if we make it like this, it will go slow at the end and beginning and fast in the center. Now you can play around with this of course because there are so many possibilities. Now if we apply extra keyframes in between the ones we've already got, we can right click on them and select Auto Bezier. This will make sure that everything you have will become a smooth curve. Now if you don't want this of course, you can keep them linear. And I think that covers most about keyframes. Now if you want to learn more advanced stuff about Adobe Premiere Pro, then I highly recommend watching our advanced Premiere class on Skillshare. Even I learned some new tricks after watching it completely. And with the link below, you will get two months of free access to not only our classes, but thousands of other classes as well. So definitely worth it. I'll see you guys next week. And as always, stay creative.